it says right here, the Lavender Town Syndrome. During the Feast for Days of the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, back in February 20, 27th, 1996, a peak of deaths appeared in the age group of 10 through 15. Creepy. It is said that only young teens and children can hear the, the certain tones throughout his this first video. And finally developed ears cannot hear. As you can see, the one that I found was more old and less quality than I thought it would. But indeed, I did find it. And it took me four and a half days of non-stop searching. Literally, non-stop. I looked through exactly 612 websites and only found this. I was kind of confused at first, but then I figured out why. Nintendo didn't want that to be any more of a problem than it was. So really, you can't find their original music anymore unless you look ex more than I did. And I have found one video, but I'm not going to copy. But indeed, that's it. The Lavendown theory is still unnamed. So I decided to email the place with a special email. I sent them this message. Dear Nintendo, I have found many experiences from the Lavender Down theory. I bet you've heard it before. It's off the Pokemon games, featuring loud noises and different other discomfortures. So I was wondering if you could tell me anything else upon this mystery. This will not go to the public, so you can it's okay to tell. Also, if you can show me a video or maybe a snapshot of what it used to look like. I cannot find many videos or pictures anymore. I've looked for hours and hours, suspecting that this will go well for you. I'm sorry that that happened to your game. Although, why did you make Lavender Town a death place? Most most people say when they played the game, who, who never sold that, it seemed like all the Pokemon di there died instead of fainted. It was confusing to me and other people. So please, if you would please reply, this will make me entirely happy. Thank you. So indeed, here's the music that I found. But here's another finding that I find more enhanced. It is a more for better version of the Lavender Town music, which makes it sound a little clear, not louder in any way. It is said that you can only hear the, the music through earphones because I know this because it really wasn't that great audio. 
it, when Labrador Town came, became more popular and more people started getting into the theory, more people questioned it. So, I decided to interview one of my best friends, Mom, who played the who played Pokemon when she was when she was growing up. In 1997, she bought Pokemon, the Pokemon game. She said she she was only about 17 years old. She heard a faint screech in the background and got officially scared. So she told her mom about this. Her mom could not hear any of it. She was suddenly frightened and threw it away. The next day, she had frequent headaches and her arm started to twist and hurt. She knew this all because it was the music, because she she had not gotten a headache in a while. And why would your arm just hurt out of a sudden? She had not bumped it or anything. So this is actually kind of good proof that the Lavender Town Theory is true. It is also said that in Lavender Town, instead of, instead of fainting, Pokemon died. In, in the games we see now, Pokemon just don't die out of a sudden. They faint. In the left corner, in the game of Pokemon Red and Blue, you find a tower, and it actually turns out to be a graveyard for Pokemon. This is a big shock to kids and teens everywhere, because they thought they'd just fainted, not die. And to top it all off, there's, there's a side quest where Team Rocket kills another Pokemon. This is a pretty depressing plot. Considering young children play this game, but that's all I've continued to find out about Lavender Town and its mysteries. So thanks for watching, and make sure that if you find more about Lavender Town, please contact me. I'll be happy to make it into another video.